Hey YouTube, it's a fuzzy mutant here. Just thought I'd show you guys a uh, rain harvesting system we uh, put together. We've always collected some rain in trash cans and decided to uh, beef it up a little. So we got some 55 gallon plastic drums. You can get these a lot of places, typically uh, food supply. You want to get the food grade. Um, this, these came from a car wash. They, they come in soap, uh, comes in these barrels and they'll usually give them away or they're cheap. These were 20 bucks a piece, but they're like brand new. So we put them on uh, double stacks of uh, cinder blocks, put some treated wood, or we actually treated it um, just to level everything out. And you can see we put some gravel in here. Anyway, these are uh, 55 gallon drums turned upside down. Um, we have an intake here. I'll get back to that. These are just two vents. We used two inch PVC pipe. If you can see it here. And uh, they're, they're screwed into the bung holes underneath and inverted so you get quite a bit of uh, volume through there. Okay, up here we have, uh, we're simulating rain with a garden hose right now, but I have solar panels up here that really sheet a lot of rain off. Uh, it comes pouring off of that thing when we get rain. So I put a rain gutter system in and uh, it comes over to here. Here's your downspout, everything is solid, no leaking. And it comes down into this device, which is called a Superhead First Flush System. About $80 on Amazon. And uh, it's an Australian made product. And what it does is you can see there's a stainless steel uh, grate here that catches all the debris and leaves and twigs and stuff that accumulate. And you don't want that in your rain barrel, so it blocks out a lot here. And then it travels down into this four foot pipe. And as you can see at the bottom, there's some water. That's the, uh, the crummy water you don't want. All the debris and bird poop and, and dirt and stuff. It collects in here. And then it all filters to the bottom and the clean water comes up to the top, goes through this three inch PVC and down into the drum. And you get nice fresh water. Also, in this section right here, there's a uh, brush. It's like another filtering system that gets any floaters. And then it goes down into the drums, and they're equalizing because uh, water finds the slowest point. And so the, they fill up fairly slowly. Now, I went a little beyond some most of the videos I've seen and put a sight tube in. And there it is. They make clear PVC which I didn't know. So I ran a half inch diameter piece of PVC in here and you can see that it gives you a nice accurate level of what your uh, where your level is which is really nice. And the reason I have this on here which is just a piece of one dollar insulation for pipes pipe insulation, it's foam, and I put that over the outside of it because you don't want to get the sun shine on there to create algae. So that keeps it out of the sunlight. When I want to see where it's at, I just pull that cover off. And down here it goes into uh, a uh, reducer, a T, so I can have the sight glass and then a, a normal garden hose, uh, hose bib. And then it splits into a Y here, which I can control. One for this hose, which I'll talk about in a second, and the other one for uh, filling a water can. And this is just a French drain system we put in here so you can see that it uh, it drains off the crummy water slowly out of there. Okay, so then uh, this white hose, that's just a short piece that goes over here and that goes into uh, this box that I built. And this is just a pump because we have a drip system that even though you got one pound of head pressure, it just really wasn't enough to feed all three beds, which we added two more recently. So I put this in, it's an old RV uh, pump, and it's 12 volt, and that's just a simple 12 volt battery that lasts forever. I mean, you could charge this thing once a month, you'd be fine. And I put a switch on here, and uh, that turns it on and off, but it's already on now. So we have the rainwater that comes in through this hose and then it comes out through a hose connection here 
and then it goes through our drip system. This is a timer that uh, controls when it goes off and I'll show you what it does. The pump will cycle on and then you'll hear the pump and then it's feeding the system and it's only going for a minute because we get a pretty good volume of water out of there. All these little emitters here will distribute the water. The sun is killing me here. And you see the water dripping out of there. And then it goes on through this bed into our other bed here. This is we're growing carrots and some root vegetables. We have beets, carrots. You can see that it's starting to filter in here. And then this one is our leafy greens. We have spinach and uh, arugula. And that we planted a few days ago and it hasn't actually germinated yet. But that's our system and you can see it works pretty darn good with that little pump on there. Plenty of water for everybody. And this only goes a minute a day. And see everything shuts off as soon as the timer's done. And it's systems pressurized, so if there's a lack of pressure, it'll kick on again. But that little motor does the trick. And it's all weatherproof. And there you have it. So, some ideas that you might find useful if you're going to build yourself a rain harvesting system. And this is Fuzzy Mutant signing off.